take is embracing the same old Bush McCain policies that have failed. I think, Mr. Obama, it's long overdue and it's time that the diverse population that we have is brought together, united to work for the betterment of this country, country and I'm so excited about it being here. Say, what brings you out here today? Just because I love my country. Well, what is it you like about uh, McCain Palin? I like what they stand for. I'm a conservative, and I believe they stand for the same principles. And that's why I'm here. I love my country. I've got two young sons, and I, I want to teach them right. And I'm just uh, I'm fiscally conservative as well as socially, and, and so I believe that McCain and Palin closely represent that. I don't know. McCain is not very fiscally conservative like I was hoping. Uh huh. When he voted for that bailout bill. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. So it really is. But right. I don't believe that Palin would have voted for it. Before McCain even had the option and he was the candidate, nobody wanted him. And all of the Republican radios just bashed him. Like, time and time again, they didn't want him. He was too old. He's going to die in office. Now, all of a sudden, they're all riven against or behind him, and they want him to be the, the nominee. And I just, I don't think it's really, it's superficial. Yeah. They're obviously just taking him because he's a Republican. That's it. it could That's be. all it is. They're just backing behind him. So, what do you like about uh, Barack Obama? <laughs> um, he is our African American. Okay, cool. Uh, what don't you like about John McCain? He isn't? Uh, no. <laughs> Just kidding you, man. He's too old. Yeah, he's too old. He's the oldest person that's ever run for the presidency. Uh, I'm concerned about his age, and I'm concerned extremely so about his choice of running partner. What's uh? What was your reaction when John McCain picked Sarah Palin? Were you uh, happy with that decision? Or yeah, that's why I'm here today. You well, you think that's, Palin will be good for the country as well? Absolutely, I think she's got an instinct that a lot of times that, that politicians don't. Have. I think she'd be ready to take uh, the presidential uh, position if she had to. I believe so. I believe that she's ready now. To, she can step in quicker than even Barack Obama if he were to win presidency. I really do. I think she's uh, definitely a possibility in the future, but she definitely needs to be a congressman or a senator and get extreme education. She's not ready yet. She's a very bright woman and a lot of talent, but she needs education and she needs to get her political uh, active in shape and, and her knowledge of the world. I had to wrap my mind around the fact that possibly John McCain was going to be president, and I was, I was going to grin and bear it, but... Um, yeah, John too. McCain and Sarah Palin. I think if he would have chose Romney, which is what I thought he was going to choose, he would have had a stronger ticket. I would be insulted by that to say, okay, well, now we have a black nominee, so let's go ahead and get a woman nominee. So That's exactly how it looks. Bases. And yes, you know, everybody will be happy. What are the, say, top uh, one or two things you don't like about Barack Obama? I believe that he's getting, giving people a lot of false hope. I really do. In five days, we can choose to invest in health care for our families and education for our kids, and renewable energy for our future. So uh, it's nothing personal against him, but I believe that uh, the things that he stands for, there's no way to pay for them. As president, I'm going to go through the federal budget line by line, and we're going to end programs that we don't need. We're going to have to make the ones that we do need work better and cost less. I don't, there's too much about Obama that people don't know, and I just think it's, I just, I'm scared of what's, what he's going to bring to the table. If you want to start throwing epithets about who's socialist, you might want to look at Acts 2, <laughs> which says the early church shared all things in common. Do you, in Acts 2. If you have a Medicare card, yes, it's socialist. Yeah. What we, we do is we, we privatize profit, but we socialize loss. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, back with this, this bailout, we're, we're socialized in the laws, that's okay. When there's profit, that's all, it's all private. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's true. Right. Well, and that's where, that's where the religious argument comes in. If, you're gonna, if they're going to use it, then we can use it too. The Bible has over 3,000 verses about poverty. I believe that government has a responsibility to the citizens. I believe as citizens we have responsibilities to each other. Like I said, I work with people with disabilities for over 20 years. Those folks need, you, you know, you didn't ask to have a child born with a disability. Those folks need more help. That's not what John McCain wants to talk about. See, he's spending these last, he spent these last weeks talking about me, calling me every name in the book. You know, but that's how they play the game in Washington. If you don't have a record to run on, then you paint your opponent as somebody people should be afraid of. Of being honest and direct, and 
not pandering or not talking down to people. He said such a high, high bar that when you hear things from the cane side, oh, they sound awful, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I think that the, the um, um, divisive rhetoric, the God's honest truth is I don't think that John McCain could bring us back together after all the divisive rhetoric. I yeah. Barack Obama can. I watched him last night and I cried. In five days we can choose hope over fear and unity over division. The promise of change over the power of the status quo. In five days we can